chakras can be pronounced a few different ways. They can be pronounced as chakras or some people say chakras and it really doesn't matter which way you say it. I think it's just more that you're trying to get some knowledge of it and that's really exciting. Chakras are. They are a meditation practice that was discovered by the Hinduism culture and it was practiced by the Hinduism traditions back in 500 BC and 1500 BC. It was an ancient meditation practice. The reason it's still relevant to us today is because I guess modern day life you start to realize how disconnected you are to your body because of all these distractions that we have. It's just life really. Uh, we've evolved and we have so many different machines and devices and for me personally having knowledge about the chakras have created this more sense of being and well-being within myself and my holistic lifestyle. I really think it's important for you to know too if you're if you prioritize and value your health and if you want to do it in a holistic way. I actually printed out a little diagram to show you the chakra system. So here we have a little diagram of me or you meditating, a person, anyone in particular, because we all have this system within us. Um, the first chakra here is the base chakra and that one is red and uh, the root chakra is a sense of safety and grounding. It can reciprocate in different ways so in physical pain can be lower body pain, arthritis, immune problems, constipation, sciatica or issues with the male reproduction system and that is the root chakra. Um, there are different ways to help your chakras and uh, one of the ways I've used to help my chakras is yoga and meditation. That is the main way to help your, uh, your chakra system. And the next chakra, which is the sixth chakra, is uh, sacral chakra, which is the orange one. And the sacral chakra is sexuality, sens uh, sensuality, it can be reciprocated in physical pain such as lower back pain can also be emotional uh, pain like commitment issues lack of fun or creativity and it could be fear and addictions and that is your sacral chakra orange the next chakra is your solar plexus which is the yellow uh, the yellow sacral chakra uh, solar plexus chakra is willpower and sense of confidence, self-confidence. Physical uh, pain could be fatigue, blood pressure, digestion or liver issues. It could also be self-esteem, confidence and self-criticism. So if you're feeling any of those, that's your solar plexus chakra. Uh, the next one is your heart chakra, which I'm sure many of you would know of. Uh, doing yoga, you bring your hands to your heart chakra. Uh, that is your heart chakra, which is green, which is right here. And it is your love and kindness chakra. Uh, so the physical pain could be asthma. It could be pains in the arms can be heart disease or lung disease and it could also be your lymphatic system. The emotional feeling could be jealousy, anger and fear of being alone or alonement or even a fear of being abandonment. That is your heart chakra and the colour is green. And then we have your throat chakra which is placed here, here in my diagram, which is blue and uh, that is a communication and creativity that's your throat chakra uh, the physical pain could be your thyroid it could be facial problems like acne or any skin problems on your face 
uh, it can be pain in the neck <laughs> can be sore throat and it can be ulcers the emotional pain is fear of powerless and fear of commu uh, communicating lack of communication and lack of creativity so that's your throat chakra and the color is blue and the next one is your third eye chakra which is right here on my diagram here right here in between the eyebrows and when we meditate we tend to bring our eyes to that focal point the color is indigo if you've ever heard of indigo children that's what they are talking about is your third eye chakra and um, that is your sense of spirituality your intuition your psychic powers it's a personal favorite of mine and it's a really good one to get your spiritual wisdom going on yeah so that is your third eye chakra um, the physical feelings could be sinus issues headaches eye strain hormone dysfunction or hearing loss and the uh, emotional could be mood swings exaggerated imagination and also uh, loss of spirituality <laughs> okay last but not least we've got the crown chakra which is located right at the crown of your head so when we do yoga we tend to say lift up from the crown of your head and that is the chakra we're talking about the crown of your head and um, that color is purple and it's a connection to divine source and spiritual connections such as god or your higher power and that is your crown chakra the physical connection to that could be um, sensitivity to light sensitivity to sound you could have rigid thoughts confusion feeling of prejudice or fear of alienation and that is your crown chakra so yeah that is all your chakras so each one of them are a ball of energy and you can unlock those energies with different sort of meditation or different yoga moves and actually do have a lot of yoga sessions that include helping balance those chakras so yeah if you enjoy that little short video on your chakras and how your chakra system works and what they each are used for so yeah enjoy thank you and i'll see you next time have a beautiful day